Hi, I'm Kevin Burns. Do your employees really buy the idea of safety? I mean, oh sure, they wear their safety gear and abide by the rules, but do they really believe in safety? Do they drive to work with balding tires and broken lights? Do they go home and cut the lawn in their flip-flops? Because if so, your people don't buy safety. And they don't buy what you've been telling them. They're simply tolerating your rules as a condition of keeping their job. Now that means that either what you're saying or how you're saying it isn't getting through. You've got people who have mental barriers around safety and that's dangerous to your other workers and to your bottom line. See, safety is more than just the number you hit. It's about what happens to your people when they leave the gate. I can help you sell safety to your employees. I'm not just another safety speaker with the same tired message of safety first or don't do what I did. I want to help you not only get your people to buy into safety but to get them to take it home. I can say what needs to be said in a way that you can't say it and in a way that they will listen and get it. Workplace safety means money to you, both in new business and not paying out for incidents. And I want to help you make more money by getting your people to buy safety for themselves and each other. According to a survey by the Josephson Institute of Ethics of 12,000 high school students, 74% admitted to cheating on an exam at some point during the past year to get ahead. Now, safety managers, this is a glimpse into your prospective employee pool. The numbers of young workers willing to cheat to get ahead is actually bad news for managing the status quo. You see, managing a diverse workforce requires anything but a one-size-fits-all safety management strategy. Of course, if you're actually trying to suck the personality and character and performance out of your people and to dumb them down into little drones who simply jump when you bark, well, then ignore everything I just said. But then if you're not barking and they're not complying, you also have a problem. You want to have a lot more people who can think for themselves on the job. You see, too much effort is spent in managing people into safety conformity. It's, it's actually counterproductive to building an accountable safety program when managers start trying to manage their employees the exact same way. What's even worse is when they expect each employee's results to be the same. Look, at least half of your current workforce has been told at some point in their lives that they are special. And when you start comparing performances of differing employees, you actually set up competitions, which is far less effective than it used to be. Your special employees still believe that they are special, and when you compare them to someone else, well, you ruin that illusion and they begin to check out of their work. You manage to disengage a potentially great safety employee by applying cookie-cutter management to individual talent. So how can you get out of the habit of cookie-cutter managing and at the same time get the most from each of your people? Well, employees aren't just one thing. Now what I mean by that is that most organizations see their employees as one unit, management is one unit, uh, sales is one unit, safety is one unit, and so on. The company, the department, the job, well, they're not single things. Managing as though that they are single entities doesn't work anymore. You've got to get it out of your head right now that everyone does the same job or with the same quality or possesses the same set of tools. Look, they don't. You've got people who are prepared to do anything to not be responsible or to shift the blame to someone else. Meanwhile, you've got others who are good, honest people who are willing to account for their actions. You do not manage them the same way. Not if you want to build a strong safety program. I mean, face it, you're going to have to spend more time with some workers who just don't get safety, and you can afford to spend less time managing others who do get it. But you need to figure out which employee goes in which column. Assess who needs more help and who needs less help. Spend more time with those who need more help. You've got to make that list today and get busy on fixing the holes in your safety program.